Hello, hello, and welcome back to the channel. So today I am working on a family of T-Rexes. Yes, you heard me right. And none of these are historically or anatomically correct. So I decided that I was going to make them a fantasy family. Uh, this set is for my daughter and she really likes bright and vibrant colors. So that is what I'm going with here today. So I'm gonna go ahead and be quiet and let you guys watch me paint. So this group of T-Rexes are very fun painting. They were easy to paint actually because they are a good quality plastic um, and they were easy to prep and nothing was chipping or sticky, which sometimes when you paint you, you get stickiness. I did get some new paints. I went and purchased the plaid paints, the folk art brand, and these are the neon colors and some of the glow-in-the-dark colors. I'm gonna be honest, the glow-in-the-dark ones don't really glow in the dark very well. And I was not impressed with the neon colored orange color that I have on my plate there. I was gonna use that color, but it was very sticky, globby, and did not mix very well. So I wasn't really impressed with it. And honestly, I'm probably thinking, of, if I could take it back, I would. I'm just not a big fan of it. Maybe I got a bad batch, I'm not sure, but I was a little sad that that color didn't turn out the way I wanted it to. So I ended up going with a Concord Grape for this particular dinosaur. I really like this color. It is very bright and very bright, uh, vibrant, but it did need to have two coats. It was very translucent, I guess, is the word I'm looking for. Um, it didn't want to cover all of the white, which was a little weird to me. Uh, unlike some of the other paints that I get from Apple Barn, which are very pigmented, and I don't usually have a hard time covering up the white, which is kind of weird, but yeah, I may do with it, put a second coat on it, and it'll look just fine. And because I did purchase new paints, I did get to play around with some new ones, which was a lot of fun, and I like doing it, but I will say this about the glow in the dark. The glow in the dark doesn't really glow in the dark too brightly. Uh, I wasn't really super impressed with it. Um, it's not too bad, but I liked it. Um, as far as this color, this is Diva Pink. I loved this color. I love this paint. I love everything about it. It made me super happy while I was painting this dinosaur. It is my favorite color to paint with now because it is just so bright and so pink and just reminds me of like a Barbie car that I had when I was a kid and I just really liked this color and I really enjoyed painting these because of this color. And what I liked most about this color and this particular paint is that I actually made a mistake. I made a mistake trying to do a new brushing technique with a black color over top of it because black and pink, I thought that looked super cool. Um, but the technique I used did not work the way I wanted it to. So I ended up having to paint over it and I usually have a hard time covering up black paint, especially the gloss black paint after I use it. So when I made my mistake, I was able to actually cover it up with this pink, which is surprising because it was black gloss paint. And usually I have a hard time covering it up. So I really, 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 really like this paint. <laughs> so if you are an acrylic painter, this is a great color. It is very bright pink. If you're looking for a bright pink, this is the one to use. So moving on and getting off this soapbox, I am painting this little this little dinosaur here. He is annoying because his feet are funky and he did not want to stand up. I had to actually have him lean up against something to dry because he just didn't want to stand up. It was very annoying. So I have named this one the Terminator because I wanted to terminate him the whole time I was painting him did not like painting this guy. Very annoying. Plus his face kind of reminded me more of like a Velociraptor versus like a T-Rex. But he has three toes and not a hooked toe. And he only had two fingers. So he's definitely a Rex kind of dinosaur. This one, I thought his eyes looked funky. And the mold just looked really weird. But after painting it, it turned out actually kind of cute. 
So I was happy with how this one actually turns out. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint this. Well, I decided I'm not going to. I'm gonna use that particular dinosaur for a different product project. Project. Uh, it's gonna be coming up here pretty soon. I'm gonna actually make a Christmas ornament out of these little dinosaurs. I had two left over and I wanted to make them into Christmas ornaments to remember this Christmas by. So I will talk to you about that on the next video. And again, I'm just using Concord Grape here to paint this dinosaur. I haven't decided what I want to name this dinosaur yet, but I'm thinking that this one's going to be Stan or Standing something like that but I would love for you guys to help me figure out what this one should be named because I'm not really sure sometimes while painting these I come up with names instantly but that one I just had a hard time figuring out what I would name it now I am moving on to the next dinosaur this one actually has four fingers which is weird I thought about using some nail clippers to clip them off but I didn't end up doing that I probably should have because it would have made it more anatomically correct but you know it is what it is I decided to name this one Smiles because this one to me just looks like he's smiling and he's so cute and it's definitely a he not a she because it's the little one and that's what I wanted it to be is a little boy. So uh, now it's uh, moving on to the next night and here I am making my mistake. You see how I made a mistake? Did not like that. So I had to paint over it and I was very upset about it. And I hope you guys are not at mad at me about that because honestly I was so sad that I made a mistake. <laughs> so I'm moving on. I thought that, you know what, these are diva pink. Divas like polka dots. So I decided to make polka dots and I am apologizing because it is off frame. So you're going to see some really weird edits because I'm just going to cut out the pieces where I am off frame. There's no need for you guys to have to watch that. That's kind of annoying to sit there and watch nothing happening on the screen. So I'm going in now and I am just making some polka dots that are on the top of the head. They're going to go down the back just like on the other one. Um, I did paint that off screen so I'm sorry about that. I wish it would have uh, been in frame but I must have bumped my camera or something. <laughs> Now, if you'll notice down in the right corner to you, there are going to be three dinosaurs, four dinosaurs that are already painted. That would be the two blues. I went with a metallic paint over top. I got some new metallics when I try those out. And I think that they turned out looking like Terminators. They are Terminator dinosaurs or like a robot dinosaur. So I'm calling this one Terminator Senior. Not sure why, but I am just painting here getting some more of the silver paint on and painting his nails and then I am going to work on baby terminator and like I previously mentioned baby terminator irritates me because he has to lean up against something in order to stand up so I'm not a big fan of that one and now I'm just working on the nails and toes giving them black because I really like black toenails I went with a diamond shape for the purple dinosaurs which turned out really cool I actually liked how that looked and the polka dot pink dinosaurs are just getting their nails painted and I will have to come back and do some more details which I will probably do off camera and come back with the results towards the end I hope you guys like this so far but if you've noticed here I'm just fixing my issue remember I messed up on this dinosaur and I corrected it and it looks really really good so I hope you guys like this the final action shots and here is a side where I messed up and how I fixed it and here are some final action shots of the dinosaurs. I hope you guys like them. They are so bright and vibrant and cute and I really enjoyed these colors. So I hope you guys come back and watch some of my repaint videos. Make sure that if you like the video that you like and subscribe. Bye!